Ladies and gentlemen, the day has finally come to unite the league. We finally got more footage from Justice League. Yes. They had their um, SDCC or San Diego Comic Con uh, panel. Yeah, released a lot of trailers today. A lot of stuff today. Yeah, yeah. Um, most importantly was Justice League, of course. Yes. Uh, nothing else. Nothing beat it. I don't, in my opinion. Uh, which I mean, I've got, I've got one thing. My that, fucking that, fanboy is fuck here. Exactly. I mean, I, there's one thing. That, <laughs> there's one thing that didn't necessarily beat it, but I'm super excited about as well is uh, Stranger Things too. Oh yeah, that looked yeah. Oh, amazing. I mean, there's a lot that I'm. There's yeah. a lot that I'm really excited for, just not as much as. Oh no, Justice no, no, League. no, no, definitely not. Um, before we get into our reaction slash review of the, the trailer, trailer, just analyst analysis. Before that, we need to say uh, kudos to Ben Affleck for calling out everybody saying that they're full of shit for saying that he's not going to be Batman. No. Like he straight up said, I mean, he he dropped the f bomb a couple Quite times. A few, like four or five times when he was saying that yeah. he's not going anywhere yeah. anytime soon. Yeah. He's having because too much fun. He loves the role. Everybody's everybody's enjoying what they're doing. Everybody, you can yeah. tell everyone's genuinely happy to be Especially there. Especially Ezra Miller. <laughs> he's oh my god, he's, he's the most weirdo. Um, he's the most happiest guy. Yeah, yeah, like they're all happy to be there. They're all excited to be there. They all seem like they're into it. Um, ben Affleck is not an outgoing, happy kind of person like they are, but he is just He's as excited. Happy to be there. Uh, but he did. He in, in his own way, in a cool way. He he said pretty much "fuck you" to everybody. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. I, you know what? I told you that the other day too. Actually, when it came out, this is bullshit. This is the same story they ran six months ago or four months ago or whatever it was, and he came out and said the same thing then. Yeah. So we all knew it was bullshit, just regurgitating a bunch of rumors. And, and you know, and of course it happened, and maybe it was all a big thing, you know, because it happened and got settled on the day of Comic-Con. I don't yeah. know. Anyway, he is going to be Batman. He's going to stay Batman, and it's probably going to stay Batman for at least a while. So, yeah. so anybody, anybody you, had any... Thank you, uh, Ben, for clearing stuff up. Yes. Anybody who had any concerns can rest easy. Um, and anybody who doesn't like Ben Affleck as Batman, fuck you. So, yeah. yeah. On I, to I concur. On to the trailer analysis. It was awesome. Awesome trailer. Awesome. Um, trailer. You know, uh, and I'm glad they didn't make the same mistake. Now, now they did show a lot of action. Yeah, they did. Which I like. Um, I, you know, that one Aquaman scene was was fucking amazing, and I was kind of hoping. I'm hoping there's more of those because I don't want them to show all of Aquaman's cool scenes in the trailer. I don't think I don't think they're showing all of. I, I think, think there's going to be a lot of Aquaman. Yeah, I think so too. I think he's going to steal the show. I still I think, think I've been saying that. I think Ezra Miller will too. I, I think the Flash. I think the Flash and Aquaman are going to be the two biggest stars I, of this. I, think I so. really do. I, I think really so. do. I definitely Aquaman. Aquaman's going to surprise everybody. <laughs> I he's, hope it's going to be. I really hope Cyborg. Surprises everybody, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know. He's probably. I, I feel like he right now he's going to be the weakest of all the characters. I, yeah, I think so too. But for, uh, mainly because, for instance, my my mom and dad, they know nothing of comic books other than they know that I waste my life away reading. Um, but they do know Batman. They do know Wonder Woman. They do know Aquaman. They do know the Flash. They have no fucking clue who Cyborg is. When they go and watch Justice League, they ain't gonna know who the fuck he is. No. And that's most people that yeah. that don't actually read comics or watch the cartoons. Yeah, they don't know anything about Teen Titans. They no. don't know anything about... No, they don't know anything about... They don't know anything about, about the Justice League completely either. They just know no. a few yeah. of the characters. They're, they're the most recognizable. Out of all of them, they're the most recognizable, yeah. even out of Marvel, yeah. other than Spider-Man. Yeah. You know, so... I mean that, and that was just for instance. You know, there's going to be people that do recognize, and that, and that, and that, that makes a lot of sense. There's going to be a lot of things that people are not going to know about, and I don't, and I think they'll get behind Cyborg. I think he's a cool character. I just, I just think he'll be out of all of them, especially on the on the big screen, on at you know for the first time ever together. It he'll be the weakest link. Unless, I don't think he'll be weak. I think he'll be. I just think he's going to be. I'm hoping he's surprised. I'm hoping to be surprised. Yeah. Because I, I, right now, I feel like he's going to be overshadowed. There's one caveat there. If they give him 
one of the coolest spots in the movie. Oh, well, yeah. And that's very possible. He'll be a big hit. That's very possible. He'll be a big and hit. And they kind of alluded to some something pretty interesting yeah. and funny, semi-funny yeah. in the trailer with Alfred. Yeah. Who, uh, who uh, do I know you? You know, that's that's pretty cool. Um, So he may, that may a be. A lot of cool parts with Alfred in the trailer. Uh, yeah, and I love Jeremy Irons. I, I love him. I, I love it, too. I, I love, love him. him. I love him. I love him, and he's great. And I, I mean, <laughs> I love everybody involved in this. I do too. And I do. I'm and, super and excited. I really don't feel like it's being. I don't. I don't feel like I'm being a fanboy when I say I love the casting. Yeah. Because they all no, are. No, that's the thing though about us. I, at least me as a fanboy. I, uh, fanboyism isn't because isn't like you like everything they do. Fanboys usually shit on stuff. shit on a yeah. lot of things. I don't. I mean, there's yeah. people. There are some blind fanboys, you know. You get you get the console wars, and you got the people on one side or the other. And, and the same way with Marvel or DC or Batman or Superman, you get the fanboys, sure. But most pe- most like hardcore fans are probably the hardest on what they love the most. Yeah. Yeah. I am. I'm the hardest on Batman. Uh, Batman, if he don't look right, if he don't look the way I I like him to look, if he doesn't do something I like, I'm you know I'm not as preferable to it. I don't get mad. I didn't like. The Nolan verse to you know, people will be pissed. People will disagree. Oh, yeah. I know you love the Nolan verse, yeah. Pete. I thought Batman Begins, and I've said this many times. I'll say it a million times more. Batman Begins was a really good Batman movie. I didn't think the other two were good Batman movies. I thought Dark Knight was a good movie, but not a good Batman movie. I thought the Dark Knight Dark Knight Rises stunk. The High Heaven. I thought it was awful. So well, my and and we won't have to get into yeah, all that. We, but we can do another video on that if anybody wants to see it. Please leave a comment. Yeah, we have a lot to say about the Nolan. Oh, movie. I do, I do, and I, and I like it, but I have a lot to say. Negative yeah, and, and, and I but, have, and I have a lot of positive to say about. I the have movie. more, I have more negative than you do. So, um, I just anyway, I'm very critical, and I was very critical of that verse, that universe. So, this to me is a is so far I have enjoyed, and yeah. I now I didn't re- originally like Man of Steel coming in, so. And I loved it. I couldn't. Uh, as soon you as did. I seen it, I well, you weren't it. a Superman yeah, fan, and I'm I, not. I'm not a Superman fan. I'm a Batman fan, right? And they made Superman a little darker. It showed. It showed. Uh, and I didn't like his that aspect, more though. human side, and I love that. I didn't like the aspect. I liked. I don't like. I like the human side thing, but I don't like. I don't like the dark, gritty. I don't. I, I don't like that out of Superman. Superman's a beacon of hope. Which, I mean, that's kind of well, he stupid wasn't at the saying. Time. He's not really a beacon of hope. He but wasn't at the time. No, he's, he's, not. He's, he's not. He has to grow into that. But but I feel like he... And maybe we will see that still. But right, right then, I was expecting him to be a little bit more cheery. Of course, I'm used to Smallville. I'm used to other things, too. Other versions of Superman. Uh, you know, you, you automatically get that. I'm, I know, I'm, a, I'm unsure with who I am as a person, where I belong. But at the same time... I believe people are good. I want to protect people. And I feel like he was a little bit too down on himself. I feel like there was a little bit more drama there. And Kevin Costner, and as much as I love Kevin Costner, Kevin Costner just made it worse. The whole thing just was awful. But now, seeing Superman, I under and, and seeing the bigger picture come together in Batman v Superman, I can appreciate Man of Steel a little bit more. But, but the whole point of this is I'm actually... I'm going to be critical. I'm going to continue to be critical. I'm going to call out things that I don't like as I see them. But yeah. right now, so far, I love everything I have seen with what they're doing. And Jeff Johns coming in and working on stories for DC, working on stories for the movies. Matt Reeves coming in and taking the control of the Batman for, for instead of Affleck so he can focus on the role and the writing. This is going to be great. It's the, yeah. like the, the future is going to be so great. And I know with Jeff Jaws on board, I know we're going to get a Green Lantern that we all have been hoping for. And a good one at that. And I have a theory about that. I have a theory that if not in this movie, if not in Justice League, which I'm, I really think they're going to do a Green Lantern. I think they're going to... You know, it's weird that he's not a I, part of the lineup right now, but I have a feeling that I he's going to be a gonna, secret. I think they're going to surprise everybody. I, I hope so. I don't know if that's even possible with today's day and age. I don't even know if that's Yeah, because they don't have any casting for him. But... I hope it. Or, or they allude to him in some... I think they will in some, somehow. Well, they see they alluded to him in the trailer. And I didn't catch it until, like, the fourth time I watched yeah. it. Um, uh, 
Step one. How is it said? How is it said? Yeah, he, step he, step he said there are no protectors here, no and, protectors. and there are no lanterns. There are no lanterns. There is no Kryptonian. Ah, oh, dude, that means... Well, whether, they're finally talking about the they're lantern. They're finally talking about Green Lantern. They're yes. finally talking about the lantern. Yes. And that opens up a whole other fucking can of worms for the DC Well, universe. and at the panel today, not only did Ben Affleck, uh, but, but Jason Momoa gave away... What could be his, what he, I believe his in his uh main antagonist for his yeah, movie for his movie yeah yeah That's, which is huge and they can't be too happy about him saying that but I, I bet the, I bet they're not, I bet way, they're not that mad way. back to the back to the Justice League trailer um we have a lot of questions and the biggest one is who was in the red cape in the bat cave talking to Batman. There is there is I mean the the easy answer is Superman. Or or yeah. he or he's looking at some kind of hologram or maybe he's not talking to him, maybe he's just looking at uh I don't know. The thing is is we assume it's probably Superman. Yeah. Um there has been rumors, there's been theories already. There's and and I looked at it too the very I, without even looking these up first. I I looked at I looked at that and it was the fir- even the first time I watched it. I seen that leg, and then when that cape, the cape moved, and you seen the leg, and it could have just been the hologram. It could have been something. Maybe it's a torn legging. I don't know, but it didn't look like Superman's leg. And and, and I, I don't want. And I'm really trying not to read into this too much. But at first, and you you seen it. I, we just yeah. we just uh, watched it again. It there's some kind of I don't know if it's some kind of art or if it's some kind of leg or if it's some kind of different suit or. You know, you, you when you when you freeze frame it at the very last frame before it goes to the next one, you can see the thigh, and there's a bigger thigh there. So then that kind of makes me think, well, maybe that is Superman. But we do have two other theories. One, could it be Supergirl? Because that the first time I seen the leg, it didn't look like a man's leg. It did not look like Superman. Yeah. And the re- and the red, and it could be the hologram and the color or whatever, but. Obviously, his color palette is not that bright. Hmm. I don't know if they're going to brighten it up maybe in, f- in the future, yeah, but it's not it. it's not bright now, and I don't expect it to be bright at least in this movie. And in fact, I wouldn't doubt if it was all black like he, he was. not I'm hoping he is. Yeah, I hope it is. At least for a short time when he comes back. But that is a very bright red in the color palette, so that leads me to believe that, it's, that they've contacted another Kryptonian, which is Supergirl, and that's how they're going to bring her into the DCEU. Or... It's Martian Manhunter, yeah. Which they haven't alluded to at all, and I'm real—I don't believe anyway. And I am super stoked about not just Green Lantern, but Martian Manhunter. Yeah. And and, and I was really disappointed that they haven't got him up, but it is still early in the whole movie verse. Yeah, they're just now getting started. They're really just getting started. started. You can't throw any more. They couldn't have possibly thrown any more into Batman v Superman. People already panned it for too much. So. Yeah. But I'm really hoping it's one of those two. Obviously, the other question is: Is this the same person? That Jim Gord's talking to at the end. Is that Superman? Is it is it Supergirl? Is it Martian Manhunter? Who is it that's come and save the day? You know, it, obviously that's somebody who's coming to save the day, or some somebody's come back. And well, and I, and on uh, on the video on YouTube, I seen somebody in the comment section said, you know, oh, uh, at the end, pause it, and you can see in Alfred's glasses. A reflection. Who? Yeah, the reflection of who it is. And I've tried and tried and tried, and I. Could and there could be somebody them. fucking with people and trying to pull your leg. They I, may have actually but, seen something, but I we couldn't. can't. We they couldn't. might be watching on 4K. I, you know, I don't know. If if anybody is watching this, and if anybody has seen this, and they actually yeah, there is please, actually something, let us know, please. Because because we can't. I can't figure it out. I can't no. see it. It's too damn small. I I honestly don't think there's anything there. I think he was fucking with people. But if there is, and we just haven't seen it, we're missing something, let us know. Um, other than that, there's not really anything big that I can re- remember. The comedy of Ezra Miller. Oh, the comedy, especially at the end, that was a cool yes. ending. You know, yes. Well, that's that rude, hilarious. and then he just leaves. Um, and also, the uh, I'm just pushing people and then yeah. running. He says, you guys are ready for battle. I'm I'm not used to battle. I just push people and then run away. And then run away. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. He's going to be awesome. Like I said, him and, him and Aquaman are going to steal it. Yes. With the, with the yes. comedy, too. Yeah. 
And they it, didn't really show. Uh, I mean, well, it I makes me wonder if Lantern Green Lantern is going to have any comedy to him. Because in, in the animated, I really hope so. In the animated universe, he's kind of snarky. If, if it's Hal Jordan, it, he's snarky. He's not as comical as like Flash, or because um, he's not as young. But he is kind of snarky. Like he's not Ryan Reynolds funny, like you know you would see yeah. in the other movie or whatever. But he is snarky and sarcastic, especially with Batman. Yeah, and and that's what I liked about him. Especially in the new... with the Flash, they have a they have a yeah. whole they have a whole. Uh... It's a bro thing, you know. Yeah. It's the kind of the bro thing too, and, and and you know you see a lot if you ever if you watch the animated movies like the new Fifty Two stuff right now, anything they've done, um, Doom and War, like there there's a lot of um, I don't remember yeah Doom too yeah. I think even Doom there's a lot there's kind of not not so much a bromance but there's definitely a bro thing there and you know they're they've got their own thing um, how Jordan has got his thing with Batman where they're both sarcastic to each no, other. And I would, I know a lot of people would, would shit on this, but I would actually welcome a John Stewart. Oh, that's fine too. That's fine I, too. I like John Stewart. He's not, I prefer Hal Jordan, but that's okay. I, I as, don't take either one of them. He's not as inventive as no. Hal Jordan. Brute, brute kind of, but he's, you know, he's military and so everything he comes up with is like a uh, F sixteen or a fucking yeah. a Tiger tank or shit like that. It, you know, it's yeah, it's, it's still, not it's, it's not a cool. it's not a huge hand of smashing something. Exactly. You know, it's, it's, it's not silly. it's not goofy stuff and inventive stuff, but it's still really cool stuff yeah. that he comes up with. That but and, I would welcome and it. see, I, I would welcome that. But at the same time, I think that that would add even. I don't want too much funny. Like I don't want it to be Marvel. No, yeah, but I agree. I but agree. but at the same time, I could, I think that that would lend a hand to the flash yeah you know and some of the funny going on with those because you have you have a really serious group half of them are serious and the other half are Are goofy are kind of goofy and aquaman can be both but you know he's just more cocky and the other two are are the other two are goofy and i think hal jordan would fit into that well especially with that innovative shit and the the, the banter between him and flash i think would be hilarious just thinking about it yeah so but john stewart would be fine too but other than that the, the trailer didn't have a lot. It had a lot of action. Um, obviously, we know it's we all we, we, we knew it was coming anyway. So it didn't give away anything. It was Steppenwolf. Looked they've learned awesome. from the last one. Steppenwolf looked amazing. It looked really cool. Um, Way better than the the BVS uh, extra scene that they the, had. Um, man, everything else it looks like it's going to be huge. And I know they're hiding stuff. I know they're hiding oh, yeah. more stuff. And it's going to lead to the next Justice League film too, which is going to be. I'm assuming Dark Side. I'm, I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm sure Dark Side will be held off. At least, in, maybe it'll be shown at the end. I don't. Maybe know. not as long as Thanos has been held Dude, off. Dude, if they hold God, off, God, I they won't. They will not make that same mistake. Ooh. I really don't think that. If they do, I'll. I mean, God I'll damn. end it because that's just. Josh Brolin's gonna be fucking 85 years old when he gets to play. Yeah. When he finally gets to play. Thanos. Oh, they'll have to replace all them <laughs> old ass motherfuckers by the time they get Thanos out there. Oh. Uh, but other than that, man, there's not really more to talk about. Other, if you haven't no, seen it, go awesome. watch it a million awesome. times. It's awesome. I, I can't wait for it. I can't wait till November. Um, still a lot of questions. Um, I still think it might be somebody not Superman in that hologram. I really do. That's that's the biggest thing. And it, it may I may be thinking too much into it. I'm, maybe I'm hoping for too much, but yeah. I, I don't think I'm. I'm not trying to. I just I don't know. You never know. Um, but if you guys find out what that is, or you guys yeah. leave you leave your comments. Uh, let us know if you think if you can see the reflection. Also, let us know if you think who you think's in the hologram, and uh, you know share with uh, share with us your opinions down below. We want to talk with you about it. So, uh, until next time, guys, we'll keep you updated on this movie and everything else DC. See you later. <laughs>